In today's Yacht Channel report, I'm going to uh, look at something that I don't usually look at, which is a Navy ship. Um, in this case, it is an unmanned drone sub-hunting ship. The uh, original prototype is called the Sea Hunter, and they've just uh, apparently launched a sister ship called the Sea Hawk. And so these uh, vessels are uh, screaming around on the oceans at high speed without any crew on board now. Uh, mostly in prototype testing phase, but a uh, fleet is coming and uh, for strategic reasons, uh, military reasons, uh, they make a great deal of sense. Uh, for budgetary reasons, it costs about uh, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a day to run one of these ships versus seven hundred thousand dollars a day for a destroyer. So that makes perfect sense. Um, the actual vessel is quite interesting, and I'll get into the specs on the vessel and the the the, uh, the capabilities. It's kind of a cool little ship. So let's look at this baby first of all. It is 132 feet long. It's got uh, almost no beam. You see, it's got two armors. They are saying that it travels at 27 knots, but. Uh, as I pointed out, it's going to be going faster than that if they're going to be chasing uh, Russian nuclear subs. It's got an endurance of 90 days at sea without crew with a 10,000 nautical mile range. Can launch and recover a parasailing uh, device here, so it's sort of an eye in the sky, uh, which increases its communications capabilities and of course its uh, viewpoint over the horizon. It might be handy to have on a yacht. If you're sitting in your sailboat, um, at, at, at 3 a.m. Uh, on watch somewhere out in the middle of the Pacific uh, you don't want to meet one of these and the operators uh, could be sitting in a bunker in Arizona or San Diego or in a mountain in Colorado um, uh, and and you know I don't know maybe they get up and get a coffee or go to the bathroom or otherwise distracted and they don't see your little boat and that um, is worrisome, and I'm sure that there are all kinds of protections. And as an industry, I think that we should uh, be keeping an eye on this uh, use of the oceans as we all share the oceans. And in the same way, uh, when they uh, propose a wind farm, the fishermen, the yachtsmen, the whale watchers, the snail protectors, everybody gets a voice and uh, and sometimes they get heard. Uh, for instance, with Cape Cod wind, they were going to put up a big wind farm between Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard and the Cape. And that was just a terrible idea. And after about uh, 10 or 15 years of litigation, they've decided not to do it and it's going to go way offshore where it should be. But stuff happens. And if, if you look at uh, the last five or 10 years, the Navy has had a couple of uh, mishaps that you never would have thought could have happened and that's with you know probably five or ten sailors on the bridge who are presumably looking out the windows occasionally and have all kinds of instruments to tell them that it's getting shallow or there's a big ship that's about to whack you or uh, you know whatever other uh, calamities uh, that they did not see that resulted in some horrendous accidents. And, you know, given that, uh, I, it just doesn't make me 100% confident that these uh, unmanned high-speed vessels zooming around on the oceans may not be a good idea for the rest of us that like to uh, go out in the ocean. That is our report today from the Yacht Channel on the Sea Hunter. And uh, let me know if you run across one of these babies. Um, I look forward to seeing the comments. And we will see you again with another report or a review or whatever else comes to mind. See you soon.